Right, we have a few Tomos <coughs> A3 and A35 wheels in the shed today. So let's talk about the differences and how you can swap between the two. First of all, even though they're visually different, they're also technically different. And that is because the type of brake backplate they use. You've got press steel one on there, alloy wheel one on there. And this applies to A3 and A35 bikes for these type of wheels. Um, what you'll find is, is because of the difference in brake back plates, the swing arms are different. So the brake anchor on a spoked wheel is longer than on the cast alloy wheel. So if you want to swap between um, two different types of wheels, you've also got to swap the swing arms. Um, the reason for that is, if you try and fit that brake anchor to the swing arm for spoked wheels, it won't fit. See? Won't go on. Um, you could cut that end down, but what you'll find is is that this will try as you brake rock up and down because the diameter of that is smaller than that. So with the regular back plate it's not an issue because it sticks right the way through it. Um, you'll also notice that the cable guide is on the bottom on the spoked wheel and on the top on the alloy wheel, and that's because the lever is on the t goes that way across the top, the cable goes across the top of the swing arm on alloy wheels, and on the spoked wheels, the lever hangs down and goes across the bottom. The front wheels aren't so much of an issue, um, they do use slightly different speedo drives, so you might have to faff around with the actual tab that sticks into the, uh, the wheel hub. Um, the, the actual uh, kind of brake anchor on upside down forks and while we up forks is the same for both um, the alloy wheels and the spoked wheels. Um, the one thing to really bear in mind is when you're buying these is to get the actual axles, the wheel spindles, all the nuts and all the hardware that goes with it, especially on the back because you've got uh, there's three spacers on the back wheel, two washers on the outside, two adjuster nuts on the inside, and two nuts on the outside. Was on the alloy wheels, you've just got a spacer that fits inside the sprocket, a nut and a washer on the outside, as well as the snail cam adjusters, and that's it. So it's um, it doesn't have any spacers on the inside of the brake back plate because it's kind of cast into it. So um, it's best to get all the hardware with the wheel, you know, and brake back plates, and most importantly, swing arms. Alright, so what if you've managed to get a set of alloy wheels um, but you haven't got any back plates with them? Um, it is possible to fit the steel, pressed steel back plate to the alloy wheel. What you'll find is these springs will rub against the bearing housing inside the wheel because it's been aluminium, it's much thicker than the steel ones. Um, so, there's a trick. If you get a spring, it's called an Amiga spring for the uh, alloy wheel model. Drill out uh, those two holes there, and fit the spring there. It will then clear the bearing housing on the alloy wheel. Um, you'll still need to use your wheel spin with all the spacers and stuff like that to get it to work, and it's a little bit of trial and error to get the spacing right, but it does work. And I've done it on my trike. And there you go. That is an alloy wheel off a, off a Flex or off a Calibri, and it's got your press steel back plate. So if you're restoring an early A3 and you've got the spoke wheels and you're struggling to find decent rims, look how crusty this one is, um, you could get them blasted and re-chromed and re-spoked and everything like that. Um, but there are other mopeds that used a similar style wheel, like this. I imported this from Italy, I think it's a Rodelli wheel, 16 inch, it's probably off something like, a, I don't know, Malaguti or something similar like that um, but the rim style is exactly the same 16 inch same diameter um, kind of brake and everything the actual style of the brake back plate slightly different but the actual cable route and everything runs in the same direction the only difference is on this side is this speedo drive because on um, Tomos the hubs are aluminium and this is a steel one so that's the kind of main difference there but yeah this was still good condition 
I think I imported it from Italy for about twenty pounds. Um, but you can still find um, A3 spoke wheels out there. Um, just have a good look around for the best condition you can afford because it's um, not worth putting the money into ones where you can see through the rims. There you go. Hopefully that was useful. Uh, at some point, some of these wheels will be going back on the bikes that they came off of. And uh, I'll see you all again soon. Take care.